Ugh. Wow. What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today we're going to put to the test a few survival or camping water storage bags also prepping in case there is a natural disaster like recent one the taxis got froze over and all the pipes burst and you know you're not going to have water so sometimes it's a good idea maybe prepare yourself before winter storm that you know is coming or hurricane so you know power gonna go out water maybe pipes burst you can prepare yourself but filling up extra water also you can bring it camping with you so that way you can filter water into these big jugs that is fold very easily so you can uh, bring it with you very portable so let's see what they're all about get it here collapsible water container by this brand you can find this brand at Walmart. As you can see, it's actual plastic bottle, but almost like a bag. It seems to be pretty durable, but we'll so we'll do a little drop test with them. Nice to have a bathtub or a big sink. Let's say fill it. This thing will hold five gallons or almost 19 liters. And the nice thing about it, it's pretty easy to dispense it. Okay, this thing is full. Okay, Ugh. that's heavy. Okay, drop test. Ugh. Wow, powerful. This is so good. Ugh. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about it. If it sits on the counter and it falls off, or you drop it out of the truck, it's still going to be very nice. Wow, I can't believe how strong that plastic bottle bag is incredible so i like it a lot thumbs up for me this is really good this one is kind of unique does not come from the box so i'd say this is probably five gallons so this is a hanging piece look how much it unfolds okay let's try to fill up this thing uh, this sink is not very comfortable over here yeah it definitely unfolds pretty much by itself look how big it is now probably five gallons easily too okay let's set it down next to it wow beautiful uh different design i like it so let it set it to the side yeah i love how it shapes a lot easier than this one it's actually almost better spout too uh, a bit. yeah this is good look at that okay drop test flip bottle Wow, oh, it fixed. Let's do another drop. Yeah, really, really stone bag. Let's do it over here. Oh no, this one actually popped. So yeah, stone and nice, but definitely don't drop it. This one is way better, way, way stronger. Look, I get it works this one is destroyed so I guess you can lay it this way so that way it doesn't pour it out if you do drop it but yeah way stronger this one so now you know next one is another Coleman look very flat not as flat as the other ones but look how thick it gets uh, it's 2.11 gallons so 8 liters a little bit smaller and a bit thicker Okay, there goes nothing. Okay, kind of again hard to fill it up. You gotta sit here and wait till it fills up. Okay, just like on a picture, it got pretty bulgy. So this is how you're gonna put it like that, and just flip the switch, and the water gonna come out here. I guess you can turn it too down like that. Cool. Very comfortable. Let's do a drop test. Okay, there goes nothing. Wow, no problem. This is stone bag. It doesn't even uh, hit that hard. Wow. Yeah, this one is definitely very stone as well. Good option as well, but this one is way bigger. This is same brand and this is both very stone so far. Got it here, moose bag. So this is like a dry bag, but it has a 
spick it to pull the water out. That's just a plug. That is so cool. Look, there's actual spout comes with it. It's definitely is plastic. Don't know how to doable it is. We'll put it to the test. Wow, love it how easy it is to clip it. That is so advanced compared to the other water storage bags I have put to the test. Probably have to hold it to fill it up because it's like actual bag. So that's cool. I cheated a little bit. I clipped it in. Okay, use your imagination. But yeah, it's gonna hold quite a bit of water. And then just like a dry bag, just fold it up. Except this one has this silicone thing over here, interesting. So you close it and fold it up a few times, depends how much water you filled it up, and close it. And it's like a real handle, I guess. That's cool. With this one, you can lay it down. I love it how much it folds up. And then this is just gravity, just like the other ones. Just hold it a little bit below and it's gonna fit. There you go, slow pull over here. Very cool, okay, drop test. Okay, there goes nothing. Wow, stone. One more time. This is nice and stone for sure. This is a five feet drop test. So yeah, you're not gonna lose your water, beautiful. I like it. So, so far definitely this one the best. Holds the most water and falls the most and very lightweight compared to the other ones. This one is more like, almost like a bucket. Check this out. Very advanced. There's a burn for it. It's still big. There's a lot of plastic in here. But this is more like, I don't know, it seems to be like plastic top or something. Okay. Yeah, when I was buying it, I thought it would be a lot bigger, but still, some of them only a couple of gallons. But yeah, it'll be very easy to fill it up. And the spout, interesting. It goes into here, I guess, whenever you're not using it. We're gonna fill it up in here, tired of that tiny sink blocking me. If I would have to hold it here, I could just stand it up. Okay, almost to the full. So very nice to carry it, I like it so far. So you can lay it on its side and just switch the plugs. Nice. And this one is very easy, just press it like that, that's it. Very nice. Just press it, it pulls it really good. While you're not using this cup, I guess you can put it in here. There you go. Okay, drop test. Oh! Not so good, at least it's not broken, but it is just like a clear lid. Oh well, it is what it is. So, don't drop it, don't lose all your water. And the last one reminds me of the first one, except actual plastic bag. Doesn't feel like water bottle at all. But they're all pretty foldable, so I have to open it to unfold it and let some air in. Wow, this one is big. This one has two handles, kind of nice. A bit harder to fill it up because it is actual bag over here. So it's like, uh, doesn't stay as a square, but that's okay. Okay, you see how it's kind of rolls a little bit, doesn't look like a square. And I guess whenever we set it down we could set it on a side yeah definitely not as good as that one over here and there's a spout not bad okay drop this because it's all like a rubber this thing is actual plastic this is way way softer i have a feeling it's going to break but let's try it wow strong the unbreak, that's good. And it has two handles, I guess you can pour it. One more time. Yeah, stone bag. Very nice. It's smaller than this one, but I feel like this one stands up way better. They go, which one do you like best? All day, this one, by far. Packs the most, very durable, and it's a dry bag. You know those things are amazing.